my friends, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on a Budget and the first day of my five days of Christmas. And I've been really looking forward to this and my lovely friends are agreeing to do it with me every day this week. So I'm a mega chuffed girl. Now, I did it last year and I thoroughly enjoyed that as well. Um, I've picked something slightly different this year for the day one. For Monday because I didn't include skincare last year but I was just thinking about prepping your skin for an occasion and how important that is um, I know that I have a skincare routine um, sometimes I change it up a little bit if I find something but if I'm going, this is only me, again, this is what I do for myself. I'm not saying this would work for everybody. Uh, if I'm going to a special occasion with Christmas coming up or if I'm going on holiday or a wedding or something's coming up and I know I want my skin to look particularly nice, for about a week, 10 days before, I cut my skincare down. Now you might say, why would you do that? What I do for about, because I've got sensitive skin, I've got very sensitive skin, it breaks out easy, not necessarily in spots, I don't get spots, but I, I go red and sore and dry and quite easily. So I don't want that to happen if I'm going out somewhere, I want my skin to be the best. So for about 10 days before, a week before, I don't use anything at all that would affect the balance of my skin. I don't use anything at all that's aggressive in any sense whatsoever. So I don't use any sort of acids. Um, I don't use anything that... I certainly never, ever use a new product in that time. I will only use things that are tried and tested and that I know are going to suit my skin. I also don't use anything that might... It's only a few days, isn't it? But I don't use anything that's like for regenerating or anything like that that may cause my skin in the long run to be great, absolutely. But for a specific occasion and I want my skin to be specifically its best, this is not a routine that I carry on throughout the year. It's just what I do to calm my skin, to make my skin its best for for an occasion. Now, before I explain what I mean and my routine, I wanted to tell you who I was collabing with today. And he's a very, very good friend and very dear to my heart. And it's Gail from Random Life Productions. And... I love Gail to bits, and anybody who knows me knows that. Why did I pick Gail? Gail doesn't wear makeup very often. She's not, she's not into makeup all the time. Um, but I picked her, and the reason I picked her is she has the most fantastic skin. I know I've seen her up close many, many times. And her skin, honestly, it's like poreless. It's it's really glass-like. It's beautiful here, beautiful. She will have, she's got a few lines here. She doesn't mind me saying I know she doesn't because she knows I love her. A few lines here. But her skin is absolutely amazing. And she does have a definite skincare routine. And she does look after her skin. And I was thinking how important this is really to, to to the whole beauty community to think that you don't necessarily have to love makeup. I mean, I'm passionate about makeup, you know that. But that doesn't mean to say if you don't like makeup or you choose not to wear makeup on a regular basis, I wouldn't say she doesn't like it. I would say she doesn't choose to use it on a regular basis. But that doesn't mean to say she doesn't care about her skin. And there's got to be so many other ladies out there that are exactly the same. So that's why I picked our Gail. Um, and she's going to collab with me and she's going to show you her skincare routine and what she does to get the skin. She's got a lot of it, yes, 
I'm sure she will say to you is generic. So a family have got beautiful skin um, and mum's got beautiful skin. But a lot of it is what she does herself as well. And um, I think she's she's done a pretty good job because she's she's got a fabulous skin. I'd love her skin. <laughs> so that's why I've collabed with Gail today because it is all about the skin. It's not about the makeup. It's about the skin. For me, it's about preparing the skin to look the best it possibly can for when I'm going to wear maybe heavier makeup. At Christmas we do something a little bit more glam, don't we? Um, some of us, some of us, if it's a party or anything, you might wear something a little bit extra. Or So the, the most important thing for any makeup is the canvas, isn't it? And it's like you wouldn't do a painting on a cracked wall, would you? You would prepare the wall first. So during the year, we I do that. I work on different things that will... Uh, help resurface my skin and so forth although I don't use retin-a but I work on that but before a big occasion I want to get it as calm I think that's the word I'm looking for as calm as I can so let's see what I do always take this is my nightly routine I always take my makeup off first with coconut oil I take my eye makeup off with coconut oil I've tried lots of different eye makeup removers i've tried lots and lots of different high street high end i've tried so many coconut oil for me is my favorite i love breaking my makeup down with that oil i also love how it makes my skin feel and I also like that there's no rubbing or aggressive rubbing on my eyes. It really just melts the makeup off. So I always start with that. When I've done that, this is for this, this will be any day. But specifically in this order when I'm trying to get my face to look its best. I will then, I've only just started using this a couple of weeks ago. And I am so in love with it. I, I just can't tell you what difference this has made even in two weeks. It's fantastic. I would not turn the corner. I would not use another cleanser now. I absolutely love this. So once I've taken the uh, coconut oil off my face, just rinse that off my face with a warm washcloth, I will apply some CeraVe, work it up. It doesn't go into a terrific lather. But it's very creamy beautiful beautiful and then I use a little face brush like this it's a pink one and I very gently very gently just go around my face like this and barely touching I mean literally barely touching not doing it enough so that you're gonna move the skin do you know what I mean like that so you actually move the skin just literally touch it so it more or less floats on top of the skin and all round with the CeraVe and then I rinse that off then every other night when I've done that this is this bleeding up time I use a face mask and I use a detoxing face mask I think my favorite face mask for every sort of day is definitely the Garnier Sheet Mask, the bomb. I love that. I love that. But this is a detoxing face mask. So this is the one that I would use. I've done this routine before Christmas and holidays for ages, guys, other than the CeraVe, which I've only just found. So I use a detoxing mask. This is a, a PS one, but you can, whatever detoxing mask suits you. It's a clay looking mask, but it doesn't dry. It makes your skin soft and smooth. It doesn't, I can't use a lot of clay masks, guys. I don't know about you, but that sort of went out the window about 10 years ago. But this specific one, and is, it dries like a clay mask. It dries so that you can feel it dry. But when you rinse it off, it's not tight or it's very soft and it leaves a lot of, um, it feels like moisture on your face. And I really like this one. Let's see. Let me see if I can show you the front. It's the PS one. I like a lot of their products, guys. Okay. When that's been on, I tap my face dry. Now, what do I put on? 
there's many things I use of the night. Um, I use rosehip oil, cacao oil. I use uh, lots and lots of different things that I might need. And I've shown you. I've got a video where I've shown you lots of my oils, and I? I'll link that actually for you, so you can um, see if you want to see the, the oils I usually use. But for this calming, what I call the calming period, once my face mask is rinsed off. I use uh, caffeine under my eyes. This is the ordinary one. So I put that just under my eyes because that's my problem area. I've said that 5,000 times. <laughs> I use that and then I use one oil. No other moisturizer, just one oil. But what you need to use is an, oh, a serum. I use it all singing, all dancing, what I call all singing, all dancing. So this is the 10 years younger. And that's got all the oils in it. It's on the lines of, and another one I often use is the Ordinary's Buffer. Buffet? <laughs> Buffer. Buffet. And that's what I'll be using when this one is used up. So it's it's that kind of oil. I know it's not sort of so widely available as the ordinary, so that's why I've sort of compared it so you can kind of understand what oil I'm using. So that's it. That's it. I don't put anything else on my face other than these two things for about 10 days to a week before any special occasion so that I'm not interfering with any sort of pH balance, so that I'm not agitated my skin at all, aggravating it at all, that, you know, I'm not looking at cell renewal quickly. All the things that may eventually make your skin great, but sometimes you change it quickly and you can see that, you get a reaction. So anything that may cause even the slightest reaction on my face, I don't use. But you've got to... Um, know that I'm coming from a point of someone that's got a very very sensitive skin so it's just cleansing with the coconut first of all my CeraVe very very exfoliating with this but very very gently face mask every other night preferably a detoxing one because we're looking at that real smooth skin and then the uh, caffeine under my eyes and a multi-purpose, I call them all singing, all dancing oils, like the uh, buffet from The Ordinary. So that's it. And obviously, I put that all down my decollete as well. So that's it. And I find that if I do that for about 10 days, my skin is completely calm and clear and a great base for anything that I'm going to do differently, maybe makeup heavier or you know the environment because Christmas is a, is a lovely time and we love it don't we but it's it can call obviously late nights you can have more late nights more early mornings we don't always stick to the best diet um you know it's, it's a time of celebration and a time we love to be with our families but it takes a little more toll on our, our skin, doesn't it? We don't drink so much water. We may drink a little more wine. It's, you know, all things that will take the toll on, their skin, on our skin. So I try to prep it about about a week, 10 days before. So guys, hope you enjoyed that. And um, as I always do, and I hope you pop along and see Gail. As I said, Gail is not a beauty channel by any means, but she's she's a one she's got a wonderful channel. She's a wonderful channel and she's she's very much into photography and some of the the films she makes is they're getting better and better and better and she's so keen to improve and um you can really see that she is um she's just a great girl. She's just a great girl. Um and you know, I do love her to bits and we have a real real laugh when we're together. So please pop over and see Gail. I will see you again tomorrow with the first of my makeup collabs. Uh, I'm not telling you who's it going to be. I'm keeping it a secret. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for being here, guys. Bye. Bye.